What's up YouTube? It's Perspective again. It's been a very long time, I think probably around two years now. But because of the whole hype around The Last Dance and Michael Jordan and everything that's been going on in that sense and the fact that we're on lockdown, I thought, why not give it another go? Um, not sure if it's going to be a continual series, but the reason that I am posting this video is because I bought a new pair of kicks. Surprise, surprise. So um, it's actually um, my first pair of Jordan. So I thought it was worth sharing the the opening, the review uh, and what they're like with you guys. Because typically when I'm looking for a trainer, I try and research as much as possible, see what they look like, uh, look at the people on feet, all that kind of stuff. And so I want to be able to sort of share that as well, just in case you know somebody hasn't posted as much detail. So um, we're going to jump right into it, pun intended, um, and hope you like it. So let me know. So yeah, let's start off with a bit of a, I guess, homage to Chicago in general, Chicago Bulls. So we've um, got a queuing, a couple of items here, but um, I actually visited last year, as you can see, and had a fantastic time. It was one of my favorite destinations. And I'm not sure if any of you remember back in the day, the small basketball sets made by Spalding. Yeah, that was uh, that was the ball from that. So I used to have a lot of fun with that. But we're here for the shoes. So um, I bought them in a size nine. I'm size nine, so 10 US. So with the box itself, um, it has like a couple of details like Jumpman and whatnot. Um, it's also got, it looks like a coordinate, I'm assuming, I haven't checked it out, but I think it might be the Nike headquarters, but if anybody knows, just leave a comment. Ah yes, that freshness kicking in. I uh, just love seeing brand new shoes uh, fresh out of the box. So here we go, got the, the shoe here. So uh, immediate thoughts were it's relatively uh, heavier. I guess recently I'm more used to running trainers rather than sneakers, but not too bad. I'll tell you how they are on the feet later on, but this is the silhouette. Lots of little details that actually made me think about the purchase in the first place. So, you know, here we've got the Air 200, a couple of other details too but the logo itself for the air 200 for example is a very clever one with the r being a two so things like that you know a little design aesthetics is really cool on the tongue itself we've got the max 200 which is the model and then a little rubber tab at the front that says jump man again you may have seen at the beginning of the video when i was turning the shoe around as well that it's got 23 on the back of the tab love that i love that although there are patches across the whole shoe in the sense that uh, it's a bit suede the actual material is not leather it's it's uh synthetic i think the whole shoe is synthetic you've got um a perforated side quite big perforations to let out sweat and air if you are going to use these as a uh, i guess basketball shoe um but i think Generally, it feels like more of a lifestyle shoe than an actual activity shoe, but if you're comfortable in using them as that, I think it should be fine. Um, and in terms of the silhouette, it's a hybrid. Um, it's using the Air Max 200 uh, air unit or air bubble, as it's commonly known as well. And then uh, the midsole itself has got this speckled design, like dots, dots around it, um, which is, a, I think it's a nice, nice sort of feature to it it's just making it a little bit more unique I went for the white and red combination white black and red combination because I guess it's a little bit of a tribute to the Chicago Bulls colors as well I mean the other colors are available uh, a variety um, there's black predominantly black with with a red bubble um, a few other colors too but this was my preference and I think generally, especially as it's summer as well, it's just nice to have like a bright shoe. So yeah, I guess that's why I went for this color. So here we go with the on feet. So when I put these on, like I mentioned earlier, the other size nine, um, they fit quite snug or true to size in that sense. Um, I think the security is there so that if you are to use them as a basketball shoe, you've got that support. 
But in terms of uh, initial comfort, I mean, there's a little bit of bounce and leeway and a bit of spring, but at the moment they're quite rigid because I'm actually worn them in. I wouldn't say that they are as comfortable as say the Zoom X or Zoom soles that I've recently purchased with my running shoes, but I don't think that's what the expectation was. I guess it's quite early at the moment in terms of you know, I haven't taken them out for a walk or anything, but beyond feet indoors. I could wear them for the day. I don't see a problem with that. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a whole day of walking, but considering that you know, it's, a, it's a Nike shoe, the comfort should retain. The only thing that I'm worried about is potentially the um, how, how secure and snug it is that the... Um, the heat potentially uh, may result in sweaty feet, but perforations may help in that sense. Yeah, so that pretty much covers the, the review of this shoe. I may do a follow-up video where, I mean, in a couple of weeks, where I've actually worn them for a while and report back on comfort and whatnot. But generally, I guess I'm happy with my purchase. I think uh, as a first pair of Jordans, going for a, a sort of a hybrid design has been a good move. I guess in the UK, basketball isn't as popular or you don't necessarily see many people wearing basketball shoes out and about. So it's just one of those ones that's a little bit more low key, but um, yeah, happy with everything. Hope you enjoyed that review. Uh, hopefully you find it useful as well. But uh, if you got any questions, comments, just let me know. And I'll try and get back to you. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah.